Own Utah artist says she spent nine days in a race against hackers after a simple screenshot gave them access to her social media account. New specialist Shara Park joins us live with this story you'll see only on KSL TV. And Shara, what a nightmare for her. Oh, yeah, Ashley, hackers are getting smarter and smarter, but artist Rose Daytok Doll wasn't going down without a fight. She's sharing her experience tonight, hoping that others don't fall victim on social media. This is, of course, Christ walking on water. Rose Daytok Doll is a contemporary figurative artist known for her ability to bring religion to life on canvas. Like many artists, Hi guys. Many Instagram is a business Instagram. platform for Doll, a place to share and sell her work. But a simple direct message request from another artist to vote for her as an influencer put all of that at risk. And she said, okay, well, I'm going to send you a text on your iPhone. It has a link, but don't click on it but please take a screenshot of it and send it to me. Dahl says that screenshot was actually a key to her account. And within minutes, hackers had control of it. They had changed my email, my phone number. Dahl says she found herself in a race against these hackers with no help from Instagram. And for the next nine days, she worried about her clients and followers being targeted. I felt like I had no control and I felt like I had no help. This is attacks currently going on right now. Roderick Bueller is an associate professor of cybersecurity at Salt Lake Community College. He says what happened to Dahl can happen to anybody. These guys will disguise themselves any way they can, and they're very good at it. Bueller teaches seven rules of cybersecurity. He says the number one thing he tells people to do is freeze their credit. You want as many roadblocks as possible. Oh, I can't use this identity. It's fro the credit's frozen. I can't use this identity. They won't talk to me on the phone. Fortunately for Dahl, the hackers didn't get to her bank accounts. And after countless hours on YouTube, learning how to take back control of her account, she finally beat the hackers to resetting her personal information and password. What I went through was a nightmare. I didn't want anybody to go through what I went through. This is serious. This is identity theft. Now, one more tip from Bueller. He says to make sure that you are updating your apps. Always be checking that. He says oftentimes the updates for these apps are actually a patch for a security flaw in the app. If you'd like to learn more about cybersecurity and how better to protect yourself, Salt Lake Community College is holding a cyber boot camp this fall. We'll po post information to that on our website at ksltv.com. Guys,